What's going on guys? Welcome back to the shop. So this week I had been working on a cast resin bowl uh, for you guys, but it's looking like it's going to take a little more time. So I was racking my brain trying to figure out what we could do for this week's video. And well, my better half, uh, she came up with this idea that, well, uh, Father's Day is about a month away. So why don't we put together a really nice looking pen? So I'm going to go with that. So, over here, we got a nice piece of uh, Australian burl wood. I think that'll make for a fine candidate for a beautiful pen. So I'm going to take this over to the table saw. We're going to get it squared up to our size, and we'll move forward from there. Who there? Oh, it's, it's us. Hi. It's us. We're here to see your project. What you making, Daddy? Well, my brilliant wife thought that perhaps I should probably make a pen since I was behind on my other project. Yes. So, she also said that it was a great idea since Father's Day's coming up and, well, we make some really nice pens over at dukeaheritage.com. And daddy's like nice pens. So perhaps we should just show some of our viewers some of the pens that we make. I think that's a great idea. Do you think that's a great idea? Aurora thinks it's a great idea. What do you think? See, I just woke up. Good idea. Ask me after I've had my coffee. <laughs> Well, close enough for what we're doing. Look how pretty Aurora. All right, guys. Since most of our projects are more or less freeform, uh, pens are much different. So uh, it's more of an order of operations kind of thing, and uh, I'll just run uh, run you guys through the process. So what I have here is all of our hardware components laid out and this is the stock that we're going to be using. So uh, first things first is we got to get, I'm going to get this up in the lathe and we're going to get this drilled out to fit our brass insert. So let's get after it. All right, so this particular kit requires a 27 uh, bit to match our brass tube. I'm going to go ahead and get that chucked up. Get our stock up here in the jaws. And we'll get a board out. Make sure I got enough travel. Drop our speed way down.
right, so now that we got our stock drilled out, we're gonna take our brass tube. Uh, please forgive the band-aid, I seem to have sprung a leak. Um, and we're just gonna rough this tube up with, uh, I'm using 150. Um, I think they recommend 180, but you know, use what you got. Just gonna scrape this up a little bit so that when we go ahead and glue the tube into our stock, glue has something to bite into. You're not really trying to remove material, you just want to give it a good scuff. And you're just going to want to get a nice coat of uh, medium CA. Don't have to go crazy, but you want to make sure that it bonds well. All right, so we'll let that set up and we'll move forward. All right, so our glue's set up pretty well. I'm just gonna slowly work down to our brass insert uh, with the belt sander here. And uh, we'll go from there. Help plug it in. Who'd have thunk it? All right, so now we got our piece size to length, and we're gonna go get it set up over at the lathe. Now, right now, we're just gonna go ahead and get the lathe set up to hold our piece. We have a mandrel that'll hold the stock in place so that we can do our turning. We have to use these bushings. Um, each tube insert size and pen kit will have a set of bushings. Um, this end will give you the uh, inner diameter of the tube that you're using. And this outside edge is going to be our target for our finish uh, size when we uh, go ahead and eventually press the hardware kit together. All right. So here's our piece. Looks like we got enough. So now you're gonna use your live center to just stabilize. You don't wanna drive that home. Just nice and snug in there. All right, let's do some cutting. So we're reasonably round now. I don't have to worry about catching a corner. That's nice. We got some really nice patterning going on here. So let's keep working it down.
Alright, looking pretty decent. We'll get our final shape with uh, sanding. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm trying to achieve just the tiniest bit of a back cut when we come up against the bushing so we have some space to build up our finish. Alright, so uh, if I can get this to focus properly, but looking pretty good. Um, we got a nice smooth cut on here already, so I'm probably just going to start with like 220 and uh, just get her all smoothed out and then we'll start uh, with our finish. Got some of that natural cracking from the uh, the tightness of the burl, but all in all, it looks pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and get started with our finish. We're gonna be using uh, at first a thin CA. We'll get a couple coats on there, get the piece nice and sealed, and then we'll build up to our final outside diameter with a medium. couple coats of the thin on there just gonna deck this down uh, smooth it out with uh, some 600 and then we'll move forward and start building up with the uh, medium Alright, so now before we start laying on our medium CA, I just want to get this all cleaned up. Don't want to trap any dust in between the coats. So we can't get it back. Alright, I think we're about ready to go. So I'm going to let that cure up and then I'm going to very gently scrape off whatever the CA rolled over to our bushings and see where our outer diameter is at.
All right, so like before, we're just gonna knock this down with some 600, and then from there, we are gonna run through it with the micro mesh and work towards a polish. So this is where we're at. Uh, got it. The CA knocked down nice and flat. Now I'm just gonna run through with the micro mesh and work towards a polish. So here we are running through the micro mesh. Uh, just one more step. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and polish this out with a CA polish. And uh, we'll check our sizes. All right, looking good. I'm liking it. All right, so about ready to break this off. I'm just gonna score a small line in between the piece and the bushings here in hopes that we get a nice clean separation. Um, a lot of guys will use non-stick bushings but I don't like how they sand away. I like to use the steel to help me get to my finish uh, OD so that it lines up with the, the pen parts nicely. That's just me. I'm sure there's loads of pen makers out there throwing up on themselves watching me do this. So I don't know, who knows? Let's get after it. See how this comes apart. Came apart nicely. And same here. All right, I'm just going to go uh, do some fine tuning of the ends and we'll get into some assembly. Just gonna go ahead and level down the ends of our tube here. Ever so gently. Just looking for shiny brass on the inside. All right, I don't know if you guys can see that, but looking pretty good. Let's get into our assembly. Take all this over to the lathe, and we'll get this thing pressed together. All right, these are just some Morse taper ends I used to use the tailstock here and the lathe head as a press. We're gonna go ahead and get this guy put together.
All right, I'll get this all cleaned up. Check it out. It's done. Let's go check it out. Well, here she is. Uh, always an interesting project when there's burls involved. The patterns that you get are always unique and amazing. I will leave some slow rollers at the end. Uh, I just want to say thank you so much, all you guys, uh, for all the support, comments, love, all around. I know this isn't our normal content. Uh, I just needed a little extra time to finish up something extra special. So I will see you guys next week. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Till then, later.